Hey guys, I wanted to share something. I feel like transparency is really important. And I just wanted to tell you that I go to counseling. I go to a personal counselor, I go to a marriage counselor, I go to mentors, and I have even consultants and coaches that I pay to keep me accountable. So today's video is about that. I wanna tell you transparently that all the success that you see on this channel is because of that. And if you want success in your life, you're gonna to have to step outside your comfort zone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll into it. Oh yeah, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Adrian Graphics and Marketing channel, soon to be the Adrian Graphics channel. We're actually gonna flip the name back to our original name to keep it simple, to keep it short, and to get more specific. But today's video is not about that. Today's video is about your limiting beliefs. This is something that I wanted to talk about. It was weighing heavy on my heart and something that I felt like you guys needed to hear. I know there's somebody here that needs to hear this. I've built so many incredible relationships and many of you have jumped into the Instagraphics Pro Network now and we're building an amazing community. And I wanna help as many people as possible, a million people to be specific, smash and destroy their limiting beliefs and have breakthrough in their life. So today's about that, but before we do that, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and we're gonna jump right into it. So limiting beliefs, what are they and why should you even care? A limiting belief is something that you've been learning or that you've been kind of programmed or something that's just part of your culture, your background, your upbringing, something that you have in your mind that is stopping you from reaching the true level of success, whether it's in your health, your wealth, or your relationships in those three categories. A limiting belief can be something around money. It could be something around the way you work out or your fitness. It could be around your marriage or your friendships or your relationships. There's limiting beliefs in a lot of different areas in our life, including our relationship with our God, whatever that belief is, whether you don't believe or you do believe. So there's an important thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about with limiting beliefs. And I think that a lot of designers struggle with them, not just in their business, but in their personal life. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is balance is a myth. Clients will push you and force you in a lot of ways by putting pressure on you to perform for them, work over hours, thinking that you have to work 16 hours a day, 20 hours a day, or sometimes even 24 hour shifts to be successful. There's even a lot of thought leaders that have told you that you have to work like that, that work like a madman and outwork your competition to be successful. And that's a myth. You need to have rhythm. It's all about rhythm and not balance. It's more important to have rhythm in your life than having a balance. Having rhythm means waking up at the right time of day that fits best for you, that working till the right hour for you. If you're a family person, make sure that you actually have family time. If you're a single person, making sure that you have personal time, that you're not just working 24 seven around the clock. It's important to do that because you will burn yourself out. This is something that I did personally, that I thought that I could just have some sort of balance so well, I can take my weekends for my family and work my butt off all week. That is not sustainable and I was burning the candle at both ends and you've heard me talk about this in previous videos. The second thing that I want you to eliminate and it's a limiting belief is money is unlimited. And at the end of the day, money is just energy. We attract it into our life or we give it away. And if you don't have a healthy mindset towards money and you have a limiting belief towards money, like money doesn't grow on trees or money is the root of all evil or money doesn't buy happiness, those are specific limiting beliefs around money that you need to let go of. Those are narratives that you need to stop telling yourself and narratives that you need to replace in your mind. There's actually a very good book that I can recommend to you guys for money specifically that will help you remove a lot of these limiting beliefs and things that you probably didn't even realize. And that book is called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. This book helped me a lot with my limiting beliefs and this is something that I wanted to help you guys with today is just talking a little bit about that and sharing of the importance of how you look at money, how you look at building wealth and how you take care of your wealth. Because a lot of people just give it away and it's because they think that money is a bad thing and then if they have it, that makes them bad. Money just makes you more of what you already are. If you're greedy, it just makes you more greedy. If you're giving, it just makes you more of a giver. So this is really important to know and to understand. In the context of your business, that was on your personal life, but in the context of your business, you'll find that the people that actually pay you what you're worth, when you start throwing out prices that are, are equal to your value, you're gonna start to see better clients. 
There was actually a meme that I posted in the Instagraphics uh, Pro Network group yesterday about the $500 client that's depending on you and their livelihood and they're putting all this pressure on you over a $500 project or a $500 a month client. And then you have the $5,000 client that's like, let's go, okay, that person has no limiting beliefs or very little limiting beliefs when it comes to money. That's the kind of person that you wanna work with. You don't wanna work with the person that's, that's groveling over 500 bucks, that thinks $500 is a lot of money, and that's also looking at your service as an expense versus an investment. This is a big area I wanted to focus on because money holds a lot of people up. They think that they have to have the best price, they have to deliver it the fastest, and they have to have the best work. Pick two, okay? You need to tell your clients and teach your clients how to teach you which is number three. You teach people the way you want to be treated. From setting expectations, to setting boundaries, and to being compassionate towards people, whether that's in your personal life or your business. You need to set expectations correct. You need to let them know that if they want this specific desired outcome, then it's gonna cost this specific price and take this amount of time. If you overpromise and underdeliver, you will lose that client and they will never come back to you. So setting expectations is gonna help you build a solid foundation for that, rest that relationship, and that's what I've put a ton of energy on in the last few years as I've been eliminating these limiting beliefs is making sure that I teach people to have realistic expectations of what the outcome's gonna be from their flyers, from their marketing, from their advertising, from their branding, from their websites. They need to understand that it's just because you build a website, traffic isn't gonna automatically come. Those are just some expectations that people have that are wrong. Who's gonna create the content? Well, you're a web designer, you should create the content, right? No, that's a false expectation. But if you don't communicate that, then you're teaching the client that it's okay. And so you need to understand that setting those expectations is important and then also setting boundaries. That if you have clients calling you up at two o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock at night, on the weekends, then you didn't set the expectations right and you didn't put up proper boundaries. Do not answer the call. If you told them that you're available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., then be available from Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. This is very, very important. And then furthermore, and this is really important to me because this is something that I learned specifically today, when someone's stressed, when somebody has a fire, when someone has an issue, when they're dealing with something emotional or personal in their life, that can affect their business life. And if they're treating you poorly, that doesn't mean that they don't like you, that doesn't mean they don't respect you, they may just have something going on. And so being able to show compassion to people is incredibly important. And I learned today to lean in. A lot of people are programmed and have limiting beliefs that they need to either be stoic and try to be neutral or to be, be uh, the opposite and be, hey, don't talk to me like that or be abrasive towards people or put people in check. That's not the way you handle those situations. I'm learning this myself. I'm trying to get better as a man, as a husband, as a father, as a friend, as a coworker, and as a boss. These are very important to understand. These things will help you change your life. And so if you don't have compassion towards people, you're not gonna be able to be really relatable to people. And you're gonna be high up here and they're gonna see themselves as down here and it's gonna make them seem like you're rejecting them. You wanna be welcoming and you wanna be compassionate. And the way you do that is by leaning in. Hey man, it sounds like you're really frustrated. What can I do to help you? How can I be there for you? How can I support you? Is there something going on that you want to, you want to just unload? I know this isn't business related and I know we're trying to keep it professional, but man, if you just need to talk to somebody, I'm here to talk to you. Those are the ways that you can actually have lifelong relationships. One of the challenges of being a graphic designer is that they can go to anybody to do graphic design. Why are they choosing you? It's the relationship and it's the outcome that you're going to give them. So these are the three big areas. You need to understand that you teach people how to treat you, that there's no shortage of money. Money is just energy at the end of the day. And you gotta actually set the expectations right. And you gotta have balance in your life. These are very, very important things that I want you to really take to heart. And I want you to understand that there are limiting beliefs in your mind that you may not be accepting. And the first step that you can do, not only just reading, but also getting counseling. I'm doing counseling. I wanted to be vulnerable with you guys. I wanted to share that I have a personal counselor that I go to. I have a marriage counselor that I go to because marriage isn't easy. It's a battle and it hasn't been easy for me and for my wife for the last few years, but we're working on it. We're actively trying to improve what we're doing as a relationship and we are lions, not sheep. It means we are independent thinkers and we don't wanna do what everybody else is doing. We're not trying to run the other direction and just give up on each other and divorce. That's what a lot of people are doing during this pandemic and during tough times recessions and things like that, we're gonna have independent minds and we're gonna fight. We're gonna be lions for each other. And I want you to be a lion for yourself. I want you to be a lion for the people that you care about. And I want you to be a lion for your business. 
And that means doing the right things and starting to work on these limiting beliefs that you have and that I have. So that's my message for you guys today. I know that's a little bit different. This isn't typical business growth advice, but this is something that came directly from my heart that I felt like I needed to share with you guys. So I really appreciate you guys. I would love to see you guys on the next video. So make sure you tune in, make sure you subscribe so you get updated and I will see you on the next one. God bless and as always, keep looking up.